So, let us differentiate and rather than going to the next page, so we, we can just differentiate right here and if you differentiate this, what are you going to get? This is going to be 3 q square divided by 3 minus 40 q plus 102. This 3, 3 will get cancelled. You are left with q square minus 40 q plus 102. So, let us go to the next page and what we have here is MR is equal to MC, MR is given as 66, this is Q square minus 40 Q plus 102 and there are different ways to solve it. This is a quadratic equation, you can solve it. One way to solve it is to write Q minus 20 square. So, before we differentiate, I just noticed a small error. So, let me correct this error. I, I want to use 10 here. The reason is very simple that I want a clean looking expression. It is not like 20 is not possible, but if you have 20, it would look more cluttered. So, let us make it 10 and then let us differentiate and see what we get. Here we get This is going to be 3q square divided by 3, 20q plus 102. This 3, 3 will get cancelled. So, basically you will get q square minus 20q plus 102. So, what we get here is, uh, what we have here is MR is equal to MC. And MR we have already obtained as 66 and MC we have as Q square 20 Q plus 102. This can be written as Q minus 10 square plus 2 and this is the form I was interested in. And this 66 can also be written as 64 plus 2. This will get cancelled. So, what we have is basically q minus 10 square is equal to plus minus 8 square. So, how will it look like? If you draw it, this is MR, everywhere it is same, everywhere it is 66 and this expression will look like something like this. So, it cuts the MR curve at two different points. This is the MC and this is MR. So, which one the firm should produce? This one or this one? We can obtain the value also that if q minus 10 is equal to either 8 or q minus 10 is equal to minus 8. Both are possible. From here, q is going to be equal to 18 and from here, q is going to be equal to 2. So, this is 2 and this is 18. Now, which one the firm should produce? We talked about that optimal level that MR is equal to MC, but at both this point MR is equal to MC. So, should the firm produce second unit, two units only or 18 units only? Again, it is time for you to pause and think about it, which is a better option for the firm. Let us see what happens at 2. If firm let us firm goes beyond 2 to let us say 3, what is happening? MR remains fixed at 66. What happens to MC? MC is now lower than 66. So, by moving from 2 to 3, firm is able to gain 66 as marginal revenue and cost is going to be something less than 66. So, something less than 66, let us say, let us ballpark it and let us say 50, does not matter which number it is, but you are going to get now 16 or some positive number. So, it is a good idea to move from 2 to 3 and therefore, this 2 cannot be optimal.
how about should we go from 2 to 1 is it a good idea if you go to 2 to 1 what is happening here that again you will lose money on producing that particular label why because at 1 your MC is higher than MR. Now, let us see what happens at Q equal to 18. Let us move in both direction at 18 and we will see that 18 is optimal. If you go from 18 to 19 for example, although you are continuously moving, but if you can move in this particular way just to understand, you will see that marginal cost is now higher than 66. So, it is going to cost you more than 66 to produce, but you can earn only 66 in the market. So, it is not a good idea to move from 18 to 19. How about 18 to 17? If you see 18 to 17, if you move, of course, your MR is greater than MC, but then you are losing this opportunity to earn profit. Therefore, you should not decrease from 18 to 17 and 18 is the optimal number and this is the way we do profit maximization. But the idea here is to understand the concept of margin. In economics, things happen on margin. Optimality criteria is always related to margin and we will keep on seeing this in future. That is enough for this video. Thank you.